Well, what do you think, boys? Oh, God, best tech, Falco. Um, okay, so best tech. This is uh, 2021, early days. And uh, so, I, I, you know, I was kind of looking at some of the new stuff that was coming out from best tech since, of course, the world changed. You know, we couldn't have SHOT Show. And God only knows if we'll even get to have Blade Show 2021. I don't know. I was all ready to go to Blade Show 2020 and then that psh, crash and burn. Uh, but, okay, Best Tech New Knives 2021. That's not really what this is about. But, I mean, you know, I'm just saying it because these are new models for 2021. Check it out. And the Falco, it's interesting. It's kind of one of those in-between pricing things. And I, I talk about money. Maybe I shouldn't, but... That, that all goes into the equation of a knife. Uh, and so this is $160, and yet some people are going to whine because it's a 154 cm blade. But I guess if it was S35 or M390, we'd be kicking it more to the 250 range or somewhere in there. Well, kind of like the Samari. You know, this is M390, and this is titanium, and all this kind of stuff. So... Yeah, this is 240, whether it should be or not, and that's kind of where she goes. So, and, of course, a combo design. He's making the world happen for Best Tech, and so is this. Although, to tell you the truth, I like this design better. I definitely like this price better. So, 160 smackers. Now, um, you know, White Mountain Knives carries them, so uh, it's, you know, 10% off. LTK is your discount code, and it still works. Don't tell me it doesn't, because I just used it today. Uh, God, what did I spend? It's like 175 but uh, yes, it still works. And uh, so that's 144 Okay, can you live with 144 I, I think I can on this knife, and I really like the design, so that makes up for a lot of it. Liner lock, 8.4 inches overall. 3.54, um, you know, inch blade. Oh, by the way, by the way, before we go and start playing with a knife and throwing it around, uh, it comes, see, I got this in this, uh, I guess it was kind of a bronze. I, I guess it's supposed to be red. No, I don't know. There's green. Uh, there's the blue. And then I guess this is just, this is the beige. So... Um, I thought that's what I got was the beige. And I think I did. I don't know if they got their pictures mixed up or something on there. But I like the fact that this one, I mean, this this color wouldn't necessarily be my first choice. It'd probably be this. See what I'm saying? But because I like the blue accents and backspacer and all that, but this one... It really pops with that bronze. And then these colors running through here. And of course, this is that combination carbon fiber G10. They layer it all the way through. And then they machine away. And it exposes both in some kind of pattern there. So, and, uh, so I like this kind of material. I think it's relatively light, even though the knife is pretty good size. There was one thing that really hit me about this knife when it first came out of the box. And that is the first thing I do is I kick it open, then I drop it. This um, drops it real easy because it's over the detent ball like that. I mean, it is, where, where does it actually, okay, that's it. I mean, once it's over there, it's past the detent, which means it's super fidget factor because, first of all, look at that drop. Let's grab this one. Yeah, I mean, they're both pretty hydraulic, okay? See? Uh, centered, no blade play, no lock rock, none of that shenanigans. Here's your lock up. That's 35 to 40. Let's see what this is. Ah, it's pretty much the same. That's got to be 35. I mean, that lock bar is fully engaged, really. So, yeah, yeah, it's all there. Jimping on top, like kombu design, like I said. So, uh, the Polish designer, that whose name I uh, 
Gregor's uh, Grabowski or something. I can't remember, but in any case. So he does these, and he's really been doing a lot of them. I mean, the Arida, I think he did the Fanga too. Hold on. Here's the Fanga, right? Yeah. And that's a big old dog, and I like my Fanga. I just couldn't get rid of it forever and ever. And then the Arida, which, of course, this is wiped out. Well, you can still see his, his uh, maker's mark. But this is the one that BJ acid wash and I dyed the scales. And then you, I don't know how it ended up with that little bit of gold in the fuller like that, but oh well. So, I mean, yes, I like that. I like the cast uh, he did as well. I mean, just a bunch of them. So, yes, I do like it. Let's let's get the scales down here. Because, yeah, this is, this is really easy on the eyes design-wise. Just a little bit over four ounces. So it is pretty light at 116 grams. And let's throw this out. Um, you know, they're saying 3.55. Am I, am I, you know, I did have my cataract surgery. I can see that this is not 3.55. This is 3.75. Uh, cutting edge, yeah, okay, I'll go with three and a half on cutting edge, but to me, that's like 96 to 98 uh, millimeter blade, and it's eight and a half all day long at 21 and a half centimeters, so it would be slightly bigger than the uh, paramilitary two, slightly bigger, and not much heavier I mean, considering it's got these contour G10 carbon fiber things going on, and um, I checked this out a little earlier. There's no magnetism, so oops, it's a liner lock, but it's not magnetic. Hmm. We got titanium liners in here. Now, they didn't put in a hardened steel insert. I mean, the only ones I think I've seen do that on a titanium liner lock are like, two sun knives uh which i like the fact that they do that but this one i don't know if they carbonized the end of it or what they did but are hardened you know the the end of this liner but whatever it is it it's there's no lock stick there okay uh go forward choil area big tall flat grind doesn't look like a hollow no but yeah, that's that's a hell of a drop there. And we will take one of these apart. I guess it's probably better to take the one. This is the one I bought. This is the one Eric Outer sent me for review. So uh, I didn't think I'd get some from him. So I went ahead and bought a couple just to uh, one of these. And then I got this one because I really think this is Aces Up too. This is the Circuit which is, you know, more their true budget G10 type thing. But I just think this is cool, especially in red. I like it. Uh, but, yeah, he sent me that and that. And then, of course, the fin, which this wouldn't have been the one I would have bought. I would have bought the one with the total satin blade instead of. And then they've got them where they're black like this or the fuller's black and the rest of the blade is silver or the entire blade is silver. And I would have got the entire silver blade. But, I mean, whatever it is, it's 14C28N. So, wow, they walked away from the D2 on this one. Uh, this is, I'm going to do a video on this one too. And I think that's definitely a consideration of another addition to my Best Tech G10 crowd. For sure. But, okay. So, good size knife. Eight and a half inches three and three quarter inch blade so it's all the blade that it can be and let's see if it is yeah it's yeah it's yeah i can if i want i can i can touch that so yeah that's it and yes i can use the cutaway to middle finger flick it so that's a lot of fun and let me throw this on here and see what we got, well, six tenths of an inch, man. That's that's a handful, 15 millimeters. Blade stock, let's talk. 
Ooh. So closer to four than anything else, but 3.8 millimeters at 0.15 of an inch. So you got pretty sturdy blade stock here. Uh, definitely a handful uh, with that six tenths of an inch, but only, you know, four ounces. Uh, easy to disengage. Uh, but the pass through's not over obvious, is it? So it's not like they cut this way down and you got all that liner showing through there. No. But it's still easy to disengage and very, very fidget friendly. Backspacer's really nice. I mean, they didn't machine it, put any patterns or jimping. But it's there. And I like the fact that, you know, it complements the hardware. And the pocket clip, yes. Yeah, I like that. I like it. So, and you know, the hardware is nice on this. It's not, you know, button, button, button top stuff like this or whatever, or even like, uh, like on my Paladin, see those? They, they're just kind of the common uh, screws, but these are more of a machine look, you know, machined off. So really nice in that regard as well. So, um, I like the overall design. It's kind of, it's not wild like the Arita or as, you know, angry looking as the Fanga or, you know, that kind of thing. And, oh God, what's this one that I love so much? Oh, the Hornet. So, uh, yeah, the Hornet's a little bit more out there as well. But, of course, this is more their G10 thing. This is kind of that mid-grade scale, so... Uh, yeah, uh, as far as price goes, so you're not at that 250 thing, but you're not at uh, 55 to 60 either. So you're in that mid range, but as a mid range, I like it. I like it. The, I mean, the Arita can get there when they have that combination, uh, material like that on the Arita, you can get that. And that's like 110 dollars and stuff like that and then the fanga has that as well and then that's kind of more there as well uh and that's a g10 spacer but titanium and i can't remember what they threw on here what did they oh this is d2 so no i'd rather have 154 cm definitely so uh yes this is a step up and it is in price too but really a beautiful design it flows so nicely here and here, but of course, this this uh, combo designer, he does a great job. Uh, you know, he, he pulls it all together really nicely. And what kind of box do we get? Well, this is the BL-01A, and the other box is floating around here somewhere. And it's called the Falco, in case uh, you forgot. <laughs> I'm surprised I remembered. Now... Best tech. You, so you get a pouch and a zipper pouch. It comes in the plastic. You get two little inside pockets, and then you get your paperwork and you get a microfiber cloth. So, well, it, you know, it's pretty pretty solid in that respect. Box is nothing to brag about, but that's okay. Um, as long as I got a nice pouch inside, I'm good with that. And this will get, you know, this is going to get a little probably beat up and battered going around. But uh, it's got to go to the next uh, the next reviewer, the ones that uh, Eric sent me because he's the best tech rep. And Eric, Outer, Outer Limits, I mean, check out his YouTube channel and check out his Instagram so you can kind of keep up with what he's up to. And, yeah, I've sent... Uh, one or two knives to him for service and he turned it around super quick so he's got some kind of talent because whatever it was that was wrong with the last one I couldn't fix it and I can't remember what it was but he got it straightened out for me super quick so that's reasonably deep carry and uh, I've only carried this like twice uh, in my pocket, and I can't remember, you know, I've got jeans where the pocket's destroyed. I mean, the lip of the pocket is just frayed out, because I've, I've owned the jeans so long, and I've put so many knives in and out of it, so it's not really a true representation of what it would do in your, in and out of your pocket, but um, I don't remember it being an issue, and so 
not all my pockets are destroyed. So I, I think this went in and out fine. And yeah, relatively deep carry. Tip up, right hand only, no left hand on that. Um, pretty neutral here. So ergos, yeah, it's slide right in here on this one and the rest of them. That's, that's fine. Uh, reverse grip is comfortable as well. Fits my hand pretty well because this this is a fairly long handle, you know, because it's a pretty good size knife, so I'm good with that. So, you know, what's interesting is they've got so many different, you know, variations of, you know, you can get the green, you can get the beige, you can get whatever, and, uh, and the blue. So, I mean, you've got choices, which is kind of nice that they offer that as well. You know, fit and finish, typical best tack. I think they do a pretty darn good job. You got a little little LZ here, like landing zone for your finger. And uh, like I said, jimping up here, and that's uh, appreciable. And oh, one thing we never did. See if the knife will be a knife. Okay. Oop. All right, do we have? No, we don't. Okay, so these are going to be number sixes here, which I, you know, kind of would prefer that they stop using the number sixes, um, you know, but. That's just my preference. Number eight on the pivot, and let's see which way we're going to be best served. Okay. I don't want to push it necessarily until I find the easy way in. And if there is no easy way in, then we've got two sides that we can stabilize and break it loose. Well, now we're going to number six, and there's only one that I'm seeing here. And that's, that's coming out all right. So let's dump that if it'll go out. If not, who cares, right? Come on, work your way out, buddy. There we go. Then we got a little pivot surround, which we could knock out if we wanted to. I don't need to. Uh, and there's the handle material. Presentation side. Then here's your, oh, here's your liner. And we got number another number six in here. Yeah, sure do. Okay. Little flat screw right there. That's a different sort of look. And uh, here we go. Now that pops apart. And they really skeletonized this. And of course, since this is titanium, then they put a hardened or a steel washer in here like that. And what else we got in here? Of course, there's our blade stop. And there's our pivot. And the pivot is round that I can see so far. Let's Ooh, I don't know if I can push that out. And I don't know why I can't. Why can't I? Let me take another closer look. There shouldn't be any reason why I can't. Uh, I can. Okay. Just had to give it some force. So it came in from the backside. And then there's some weight relieving or skeletonized uh, areas here on this liner it makes it pretty light it is pretty light all right so if you want to put back together just just put this video in reverse and uh it'll it'll reassemble magically uh but that didn't have to do much with this didn't have to take pocket clip or anything off because hey not to service the knife in any case so but i do need my my steel washer here and i can throw this back through there that was a 
Okay, I mean, it broke loose, and now it's fine, but it was really stuck in there. And then these are some pretty uh, robust ceramic bearings. They're not tiny, that's for sure. And let's reverse this. And So if we're going to do that, then we're going to want to compress this lock bar as we do this. Because we're coming back, we're reassembling it from the lock bar side. Put these bearings in here. Okay. And then I want to put this on here. And I definitely want to get my blade stop reinstalled properly. Okay. And then, you know what? Hell with it. I'm going to set you right like that. And then we'll just do this. And then we've got a screw we got to install in here. This little dog right here. Okay. And that's, that's all we need there. And then we just got the pivot screw and uh, body screw and we're done kind of figure out where we are here and then of course body screw is going to be back to the number six and there we go guide it in here okay uh, we look centered. Well, that looks good. I thought maybe I had put a little bit too much pressure on the pivot when I locked it down, but I don't think so. And there's no play, but yes, it drops really well. Yeah, I might need to actually tighten it down just a, just a tad bit more. And I did it from this side, didn't I? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I had more I could go. Uh, let's not get too okay centered oh no play yeah we're good yeah we're good so get both these dogs back on here the falco walks right around it's it it's definitely fidget friendly and i like the design and i think it'd be okay for piercing definitely good for slicing uh, you know, you can finger flick it as well. Uh, it's relatively light. It's definitely a full-size knife. So, yeah, yeah, I do like it. I do like it. I think it may be really my favorite that they have issued for 2021 so far. This one really caught my eye. Uh, actually, I like it better uh, than the Samari. Uh, I do. And let's throw the rest of these in here if we're going to throw things around on the table. But yeah, not as big on the Samari. But Best Tech 2021, what are they doing? Well, so far, you know, you've got the Circuit, you got the Samari, and you've got the Finn and the Falco. There's a lot of Fs. Finn, Falco. Um, but that pretty good little group. I'm I'm digging this, the circuit, the fin, and the falco. So three out of four ain't bad, is it? I'll let you go. Thank you so much for joining me and subscribe to my channel if you would be so kind. That would be very helpful. And you know what we do around here. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.